Hey, welcome back. Um, here's that video that I alluded to in my uh, montage like a while back. <laughs> At least I made it, alright? Eight, two months or something where I just, I'm finally uploading it now. And um, I wasn't too sure if I should even make this guide because there's other CP0 vids out there. Shout out to Yakotsky, Swirly and those guys. They already uh, covered this character. And I don't even know if I could tell you guys anything new, but um, if you learned something from this video, you know, type in the comments below, I guess. And let's get to it. Alright, so CP0 Luchi is currently one of the best attackers in the game right now. And he has the fastest normal attacks as well. Sometimes you're able to get several hits off on somebody before they're able to dodge you or even react to you sometimes. It's insane how fast his normals are. Now in League Battle, you'll see people use his normal attacks to get to the middle, and the reason for that is because you cover a lot of ground whenever you continuously spam the first two parts of his uh, normal attack string. You're pretty much able to outpace most of the runners in the game, which is insane, <laughs> considering runners are the fastest. Well, they're not that much faster than attackers, but like generally runners are the fastest in the game. I mean, it's in their name, runner. And um... There's only a few runners that will beat you to the middle, you know, the ones like Kaku, um, Doflamingo, the ones that have abilities that give them like a, a speed boost or, um, you know, like Marco, where you, you cover a lot more ground when you use your skill or something. And there's those are the only few that would um, beat him to the middle. His normal attack string consists of seven hits, right? Similar to the um, CP9 Luchi. And the reason for I keep talking about like normal attacks in general is because, um, in order for you to get the 50% attack boost, you need to land 17 hits on somebody or multiple people to uh, get the efficient, to get the 50% damage increase. That's what I meant to say. And the most efficient way of doing this, which is what I do, is um, I just repeat the first two parts of his normal attack string continuously, about three times. And you want to do this on like maybe a tanky character, like uh, maybe Katakuri or a Rouge. Blackbeard, you can, but you gotta be careful because um, the more you hit Blackbeard, the quicker his skill too comes off cooldown. And um, characters, I think like Magellan as well, where he um, the more damage you deal to him, he the quicker his Venom Demon comes off cooldown. I could be wrong about Magellan, but I'm pretty sure the more damage you deal to him, the quicker his uh, uh Venom Demon comes off comes off cooldown. Anyways, um, you wanna stack up the buff on characters that are tanky or characters that have like nullify stagger so like shanks you know he's not gonna fall after like the first couple of hits so you could just repeat the first two part of your normal attack string to increase that damage and you don't have to count each hit you do right the first two parts of his normal attack string is about six hits so if you repeat that about two times or three times before you knock the uh, the person you're fighting down you'll know that you have the um the 50 percent damage increase also, I know I, I said repeat the continuously repeat the first two um, part of his normal attack string, but you can also finish the um, string off if you get in situations where, um, like, if Blackbeard pulls you, you can use it because he's so fast. You can use his normal attack string to knock Blackbeard down before he hits you. So that's the reason why I'm emphasizing so much on his normal attacks because his normal attacks are really deadly. Not many people mention how deadly his normal attacks are because you keep you can keep somebody in. Um, a continuous stagger by just repeating his normal attacks over and over and that's a good way to counter characters like Sabo as well in his Mera Mera state because you can't do ill stuns to him you can't burn him or anything but if you continuously stagger him as long as he, as he doesn't have his um what's it, is it skill one or skill two where that nullifies stagger you can continuously just keep um spamming the your first two parts of your normal attacks on him now you do have to get up close to get this you know off but once you get the the rhythm going you're gonna like keep a sabo from like hitting you back or anything like it, it's op once you have like master how to use his normal attack string okay so now that i emphasize how like deadly this man's normals are let's get into his skills and um how to use them properly and effectively all right so skill one has two releases the first part of it where you kick the air is really good for crowd control and you can hit people through solid um, solid objects. Now this skill is really easy to dodge and the way I go about doing it is um, I try to be as sneaky as possible. You want to be as sneaky as possible with this skill because um, if someone see you coming they're just going to dodge and it's kind of a waste of a skill. 
Now, even if the person dodge, if someone else is behind them, you will they will get hit as well. That's what's good about it. You could kill multiple people with this skill. And you can also use it as a way to defend two flags. That's what um, I normally do as well. Like if I'm by myself and I need to protect multiple flags, because that's a thing in this game for some reason. <laughs> when your teammates aren't really pulling their weight. But it's really good for, um, it's a long range skill. So you could kick, kick, what am I saying? <laughs> you can hit people from far away and um, still stay where you're at to um, protect multiple flags. And with the 50% damage increase, it's, it's a high chance that you could one shot somebody and it's pretty good now the second part of the skill where you do um a fireball kind of attack it's really it's like a more efficient ante like that's the best way to describe it like you you shoot it down at somebody and it lingers in the air for a second so people sometimes walk right into it and um it, it has one shot potential as well you want to be careful when you're using this skill like around objects because the hitbox is kind of big you don't really see it like how Entei has like a circle you don't really see the hitbox for this attack so if you're like on Baratier and um what is it Arlong like B and you're trying to hit it across the map sometimes the skill will just blow up right in front of you and you be like what the fuck but it's because the hitbox of it is kind of big that's why I compare it to Entei Ace because um there's the hitbox is not as uh, big as Entei Ace but it's like similar you know in a way now once you're in his paper art fighting state his normals become slightly um faster at least that's what it feels like to me and you're able to take on characters like Big Mom like much more easier because you're able to dodge the lightning now you have to have an understanding of how the lightning works with Big Mom in order to um to combat it properly. That's that's an idea for a whole nother video. So I, I will be making a video on how to counter X each of the uh, X's I guess in the game. But we save that for later, right? Let me not like, sidetrack get sidetracked right now. And um the only drawback to his paper art fight in state is that you get a ten percent uh the defense reduction, but that's that's nothing really, because if you kill somebody, that it gets negated by his um his trait that increases his defense by I think like thirty percent or something. And um, while you're in the paper art fight in state, really, you you can capture flags because you get a, a speed boost and a fifty percent capture speed increase. So it's really good for close second calls. Um, if you gotta capture the middle and the you know there's no runner or something, he's the he's a half runner half attacker so take what you could do multiple things with him he could defend he could attack he could capture flags you could also back cap with this man bro like <laughs> i've back capped with this guy a few times now that you have an understanding of um, his skill one onto his skill two all right so there's two ways you can use his skill two right the first part is um like you could tap on the person that you're trying to attack right like you could tap on their icon in the corner or um you could just tap on the screen where that person's running and then you'd use a skill and you'll teleport to them. Now, I think the way that most people use it is um, you kind of take advantage of the auto targeting and you just, if someone's like running past you or something, you just spam the skill and then you'll teleport to them. But if you're already in a fight with somebody else and you're trying to target another person, you want to make sure you walk in that person's like general direction before you cast the skill. The reason for this is because the auto targeting will always attack the person that's closest to you. Now I have it turned off for a reason so I can have more control over who I attack throughout the game. And this is how you catch people off guard. You want to be able to like swoop in at like an assassin and just take him out really quick without them noticing. This is what make Aluchi like really deadly. If you can catch people off guard and they're not seeing you coming at all, like you could be, t you could take on multiple people with this guy. Like, <laughs> it's insane how many, uh, how OP he is. And if the person's not paying attention, if like if you're fighting somebody and then you try to target somebody else and if they're not paying attention, this is a guarantee you kill almost all the time, unless that person is tanky or um, your boost isn't fully like stacked up yet. But for the most part, you um you're gonna one shot people with his skill too, man. Like you you one shot multiple people with his skill too, and that's pretty much it for his skill too. Um, in the paper art fighting state, his skill too becomes a knockback instead of a stun, and then a hit, and it's instant. So like when you jump in front of someone, I mean you teleport to someone, you're instantly gonna hit them just like CP9 Luchi. 
and the only issue I have with his skill too is it's way too damn accurate to the anime, bro. <laughs> All right, so in the anime, right? Uh, I'll put the scene up to sorry while I explain where Luchi just grabs Luffy and then he uh he says the attack and then he does it. It's pretty accurate to how the skill is in the game. Like you would teleport to somebody. And then there's like a slight pause before you actually activate your stun. It really annoys me because so many people have dodged my attack because of that slight pause. But that's not going to be an issue for you. It's just the people I fight against, man. I run into some good players, all right? <laughs> and um, the attack, once you um, once the stun like activates, you're pretty much a guaranteed kill. You one-shot Blackbeard sometimes. And on his own treasure as well. Like, I've one-shot the Blackbeards on his, like, treasure. Because of the damage increase that I have. And also, damage increase beats damage reduction. So, characters like Eruge, that damage, uh, that buff that he gets. Like, all that damage reduction that he stacks up, it doesn't mean shit, bro. Because you could easily wipe him out. And, um... Oh, one more thing I just remembered about his skill, too. My boy Hound caught me in this so many times, bro. Like... His skill 2 animation and his um, dodge is the same. So if you dodge before using the skill 2, someone might panic because I, I normally just fucking be like, oh shit. And, and then he activates his skill 2 and get me. So you doing the dodge and then into the skill 2, I guess kind of ne negates that slight pause before he does the stun. And if he's going to be the catalyst for characters that could do multiple roles, I can't wait till they drop a defender that's a runner because... <laughs> I'm tired of these damn blackbeards running and capturing flags and shit instead of doing their jobs, bro. So, anything to make this easier for me, alright? And, uh, I'm gonna try to upload another video because I did, um, I am making a top, I did make a top 10 video as well for, uh, last season because I did the top 100. And I'll, I'll just share my experiences with that and tell you guys about it and whatnot. But that's, that video is coming down later on this week, hopefully. <laughs> not like a few weeks from now yeah. if you guys learned anything from this video let me know in the comments below um if you guys like this uh guide i could definitely cover all the characters in the future that's pretty much it i don't got nothing else to say i'm kind of just talking right now yeah that's it bye <laughs>